Hey everybody, my name is Michelle Stuchel and I'm a Sapphire Ambassador and I want to talk to you today about how to find critical metrics, measures that will show you how quickly you are growing your business and how stable of a business you are growing. Your back office is your best friend and numbers do not lie. Your, these measures that we're going to be talking about today are the most accurate view of your business. And if you are watching this video, it's because you want to grow your business. So let's dig in. Please know that your back office is your best friend. And as you go into your back office, I want you to go in with an attitude of gratitude. Thank God for the people that are back there. Thank God for the lives that are being changed. Thank God that you've gotten to play a part of all these people's lives health and happiness and change. That's what we're about. So let that be the foundation that we work from, okay? So again, these numbers are critical. They do not lie and they will show you where you need to grow, what you're doing well and measures for improvement. Okay, let's dig in. I'm going to share my screen. Share, Keynote, PowerPoint, play. Okay, numbers, 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 numbers. Let's dig in. Okay, let's talk about the first measure that we need to look at. That is your silver development rate. And this is a critical measure of success. And this is why. 90 per, you are going to have a 90% retention rate a year later. If someone goes silver, that means if somebody goes silver a year from now, they are 90% likely to still be taking their products. That's amazing. Now, this is a pretty interesting piece of information that I found. Not everybody is going to maintain silver, but if they go silver, 90% retention rate a year later. Okay. 9% silver development rate is the company average. Well, I guess I should say this. The silver development rate is how many people are you developing into silver? Out of your recruits, how many of them are you developing into a silver? Okay, 9% is the company average. Jewels and diamonds on company average have a 15 to 20% silver development rate. If you're watching this video, it's because you wanna grow your business. That means you should have at least a 10% silver development rate, at least rock bottom minimum. If you have a 20% silver development rate, you're a jewel already. And if you have a 30% silver development rate, you're a diamond and your points just haven't caught up yet. So that gives you an idea of what you want to shoot for. Okay. So how to find the silver development rate. It's really very easy. You take your total number of joints for the year, call that A, how many of them have gone silver? That's B. You divide B by A, and that's your silver development rate. So say you have 20 joins so far this year. Five have gone silver. That's a 25% silver development rate. So yes, you have to figure this out every month because it will change, okay? Now let's talk about your retention rate. Now hear me well. It's not impressive if you are a recruiting beast, if you are not retaining your people. Not impressive, water through a colander. And in fact, I would rather you not recruit if you are not going to do the work to retain them because they're not gonna say the products work, so it's gonna be a bad taste in their mouth. You are doing a disservice to your people. Loving your people well means taking care of them and helping them get the best results on their products. Okay, so how many are you retaining? Retention is critical. And you need to find your 30 day, 60 day, 90 and 120 day retention numbers. Okay, this shows your level of customer care. Remember, in this business, you only have four skills you need to master recruiting, retaining, duplication and leadership. We know how to figure out your recruiting number, your retention number is what we're talking about, your duplication is silver development rate, and another number we'll talk about later, okay? Now, the company average is 80% retention rate at 60 days. You want to shoot for 70% at 90 days. That is a solid business, 70%, okay? And the key to retention 
ding, 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 develop your silvers because if they've gone silver, 90% of those people are likely to be on their products a year from now, right? Okay, so how do you find your 30 day retention rate? How many, okay, we're in the middle of July right now. So how many joins did you have in June? Well, I guess we can't do it for this. How many did you have in May? How many ordered in June? You divide B by A, and that is your 30-day retention rate. So you had 10 joins in May, 80, um, eight ordered in June, eight divided by 10 is 0.8 or an 80% 30-day retention rate, okay? So let's talk about 60-day retention rate. How many joins did you have two full months before, right? So how many in April? How many of the joins that you had in April ordered in June, 60 days later? You divide B by A, that's your 60 day retention rate. Say you had eight joins in April, seven of them ordered in June, that's a 0.875 or 88% 60 day retention rate. And you do the same counting for 90 and 120 days. For 90, you would say, okay, how many joined in March? How many of them ordered in June? For 120 days, how many joins did you have in February? How many of them ordered in June? Okay, just some interesting facts for you. The 90 day retention number is the key. If people stay on products for 90 days, they are more likely to stay on the products for a year. And ideally you want about 30% of your silvers going gold, okay? We talked about the silver development rate. Now let's talk about your gold rate. Typically company average, one out of five silvers goes gold, 20%. Okay, one will typically quit, one will go senior silver, and two stay between 10 and 40 points. I'm talking about people that have gone silver. And if you want to be a jewel, a diamond, you want to grow, ideally, you want 30% of your silvers going gold. Okay, so let's say again, you want, so if you had five go silver, ideally, you want two of those silvers going gold to be over 30%. So, and my last slide was just other numbers for you to take a look at, items to take a look at in your back office. Perks reports, credit card declines, and of course, making sure that everybody that ordered their orders go through. I hope this is helpful. Get in your back office, do the digging, do the calculations, have your team do the same, because this will show you the most accurate, with precision, exact areas of your business you need to grow on. Have a great day, everybody, and thanks for watching. Bye. Mm.